Hello everyone and welcome to Games, Comics and Crafts. In this video I'll be looking at a Dungeon Dragons Adventurer issue 3 from Hachette Parkworks. Okay, so this is the third issue of Dungeon Dragons Adventurers, the Hachette Parkworks issues. Uh, this is the first one that is $8.99, so full price, and it's going to be $8.99 from now on every single week. Um, let's have a look, see what's inside. So obviously we've got four exclusive miniatures, which are obviously these little acetate, or whatever they are, plastic miniatures here. Flats, I believe they are, though. I'll look at those in a second. Take the actual magazine out itself. Right, so... We've got conditions. Okay, all the conditions from the player's handbook. We've got skills, which is standard. We'll look at that again in a second. We've got skills explained. Oh, it looks like all of the skills. And we've got a little bit about elves. Character creation B, species one. Okay, that's interesting. And that is what character creation A. So it looks like, they, it looks like they're going to split these up into parts, I would say. And you're gonna have make them into a folder and put the put the like you would do the basically make you make your own player's handbook page by page. Okie dokie. Small and practical. Again, artwork's nice, always is, but against D D. What'd you expect? It's good it's got some good artwork in it. Um Lightfoot Stouts, Wizards, Wizard Features, Red Wizards of Thay, bits about Arcane Recovery. And then we've got a little mini adventure, one to two hours. Uh, pre-generated characters, creating characters, and we've got maps, we always love maps, maps are good. Features, we've got some scouts, some mains in there, which are pretty cool, powers of power, and then a spirit of a neutral evil. Oh, don't know if that's an elf, looks like an elf to me. Okay, well yeah, it's banshee, looks like a banshee, I would say there. Okay, cool, right, and then we've got these little miniatures here, what's this, step one, Back of the critic sheet, push miniatures for this thing. Step two, put miniatures clean. No, do put miniatures. Okay, right. So let's see what these are like. Oh, if I can actually get in the bag. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to make these up at the moment because at the moment I'm just going to store them flat. But I mean, they are. I mean, they're 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 miniatures. They're the right scale. They're they're. Is it an acetate? Oh, it feels like acetate on top of it. Yeah, it must have. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, interesting. I mean, okay, I can't even see what my eyesight is so rubbish. I can't even see what they are. Looks like you've got a elf, a human, a dwarf, and a halfling. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, elf, dwarf, and human, and halfling. Um, so yeah, okay, fair enough. Now, if it was me. And I knew you were going to do miniatures, and I knew you were going to do this. I would have started from issue one. I would have had all of the miniatures for all the encounters in that little mini adventure as a thing. So you'd have the cranium rats on issue one. You'd have had the whatever in issue two. You'd have had the uh, this banshee and the uh, the mains and all that kind of stuff. Issue three, you could have put an adventure in there. We could have just put include that in issue one. It's you know, issue one as a as a bonus rather than. I mean, obviously you do need dice. I mean, so that's fine. But I would have spread those out and done it like that. So, okay, fine. You get some miniatures. But, I mean, price of miniatures nowadays, would you get four miniatures for nine quid? Probably. I'm not too sure what the price is for now. I know they're expensive, but... Um, all in all, though, I mean, out of what I saw of issue one, issue two, with a the, with the very nice map in it, issue three, this is probably the weakest of the three so far. And this is the first full price issue. So whether or not this will put people off about you getting it, I don't know. Um, when I used to collect the uh, Marvel statuettes or the Dot Two statuettes or the DC statuettes, you paid eight ninety nine or wherever they used to be. Every single no, it's twice a month they used to be. So every two every two weeks you get a thing. But you knew you were going to get nine quid off a statue because you've always got a statue in the magazine. This is going to be eight ninety nine a week, and some weeks you might get four little miniatures. Some weeks you might get a full set of dice. I believe, unless I'm mistaken, yes. Next week, next month, or next weeks even. Issue four. Oh, issue four is a dice bag and a giant d20. Issue five is the the tray. Now the tray, worth it. I don't think you can pick up a dice tray now for anything less than twelve quid, thirteen quid, fourteen quid. Um, Dungeon Master screen looks like a subscription only. The dice jail subscription only. Well, that's just nonsense. Um, they definitely want definitely want that. 
Um, issue five got another set of dice. If you subscribe for issue four, you get issue five free, and then you get that another set of dice. Oh, it looks like it's the same set. Maybe the same set of dice from issue one. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, if you, if you're looking to pick up odds and sods for your game, okay, that you you know you might have you might need a dice tray, or whatever. Uh, yeah, you, know, you can pick them up, pick this up from the. Uh, the news agent or retailer, or whatever, and and you can get yourself a, a relatively cheap dice tray. If you're looking to pick this up every single week, some weeks are going to be the weeks like this. Some weeks are going to be full dice sets. Some weeks are going to be that. I don't know how that's going to pan out. I don't know if it's going to make it so that like effectively they they are spreading the cost of all of the magazines out over the over the uh, course of the eight issues, which is entirely possible. But does that feel like nine quid's worth of um, of stuff to me? Not really. Issue one, issue two, yeah, full set of dice, that's fine. Issue three, issue four, yeah, one big D20 for nine quid. That's, you know, I don't know. I would say no. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I think probably what I'm going to do, as I mentioned before in the last videos, is I will keep an eye out on the individual issues to see if they actually show up in the news agents. Um, and if they do not, I will keep an eye out on the website and see if there's anything worth picking up. Because largely, not being funny, apart from the encounters at the back of this, I mean, most of this, if you've got PS Players handbook, you're probably not going to find anything in here you haven't seen anywhere else. Um, so that they could be quite a little, you know, collectibles once in a, bit, uh, once in a while. But I think unless you are uh, planning on getting a full set, um, you might be worth just delving in and just picking up the little uh, bits and bobs as you need them. So there you go. That's the third issue. Um, We'll see if the fourth issue does appear in in news agents because a lot of the times these first three or four issues is it, and then everything anything else after that you need to subscribe. So if another one comes on next week, I will I will do that. If not, I will uh, keep an eye on the website and see what happens. Okay, so there you go. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you're buying this and you think it's worthwhile, or you're just going to stick with the original fifth edition books, whatever. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Thanks very much. Bye bye.